Hello everyone, Tammy Desert one here, bringing you back more Kingdom Hearts 2. In the last episode, uh, we just finished up Roxas' story. Well, Roxas, the, the Roxas prologue anyway. Uh, now we are back here with Sora, in back here in Twilight Town. After a long year of sl sleeping in that one pod that he got put in by Nomine. And look at him, <laughs> look how grown up our boy Sora has gotten. So grown to the fact his shorts are barely even fitting his legs. <laughs> But, uh, so then we got a little, uh, uh, we ran to Hainer, Pence, and Olette, which basically, to who basically told us, oh, by the way, we, we, uh, met someone that's, uh, who's actually looking for you guys. A guy, a guy in a black cloak with big round ears. Hmm, who could that be? <laughs> big round ears. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. None of them are good pal, good old pal Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you have to go do our homework. If you got time, why you go get a job? Oh wait, I don't think anyone's hiring right now. <laughs> the guy's looking for the guy looking for you is at the station. It's at the top of Station Heights, so you should get go see what he wants. If you want to know about this town, go to the sandlot. We're busy. I'm sure Cypher's bunch will will accommodate you. Okay, can we can we actually go there? Oh wait, we can? Oh, I didn't know we could. Hey you, where'd you come from? You here to pick a fight with us or something? Fight? We're not here to fight. Okay, smart Alex. You big bloke. <laughs> teach you how to behave in my town. Great. Man, what a jerk. One moment. Oh shit, children. Uh, Three children, a you know, four children, a duck, and a dog are about to fight each other. Oh shit! Let me get my camera. <laughs> if you're gonna fight, why not make it a proper struggle? What? You see, Cipher, I'm a really big fan. What? What do you want? In other words, I want to see more of your super cool moves. You handled the tournament with real style, and you absolutely dominated the title match. But I just can't get enough. Don't you see? The matches are far too short. I need more struggle in my life. I have nothing fulfilling in my life, so I like to see kids. I like to see kids beat the shit out of each other with full bats. I need more of it. And what's your name? Sora. Sora. If you want to fight a match, you just say the word. But I don't want to fight. I just want to know what's going on in this town. I just got here, I'm new! <laughs> I just woke up and all of a sudden I'm in this weird world. Where's the gummy ship? <laughs> First, you're willing to fight, great. First, I'd like to test your ability. But you don't have any opponents for you. You have to wait a while. Meanwhile, practice. Can we actually... Oh no, we... Yeah, we can't. That's right, I remember, uh, you gotta wait. Yeah, it's, this is like a little side thing. If I'm, yeah, I remember now. This is like a little side thing you can do with, uh... Sora, like if you come back to Twilight Town, you can come back. As, uh, you can come back later on to participate in little struggle tournaments. And the, you'll get anything out of doing it, I don't think, other than just that extra little cutscene. Um, I mean, it's not like we we can't really do anything right now. Yeah, yeah, we can't do any of the jobs. We can't do any struggle tournaments. We're gonna have to wait till much later in order to do that. But. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be showing any of that off. Like I said, you don't get anything out of it. It's just a shit. It's just shit for Jiminy's journal. That's all it is. Well, I'm gonna be getting a lot of a lot of the shit in this game. I'm not gonna be getting like doing all of Jiminy's. <coughs> Bless me. I'm not gonna be uh, doing all of Jiminy's. Uh... <coughs> God damn it. Oh, fucking allergies kicking in like a bitch. I'm not gonna do any of like all like Jiminy's like requirements like. Oh, do this under this amount of time, or get this amount of points. All I'm gonna be doing is getting like, like extra shit, which you guys will see in later in a little bit. Okay. Defeat all the strange enemies. And unfortunately we can't you can't use reversal. We're not Roxas anymore. 
Damn, Do Donald Duck's fucking thunder attacks are fucking killing everything. Go, Duck! Ow, ow, ow. God, I wish this thing could stop fucking lagging. I might have to switch to, like, some settings on this thing. Oh, wild! Defense boost. Sweet. Come on, dial you freaking things. Get out of my face. I don't have any magic, I'll be fucking casting thunder on your asses. And Donald Goofy are dead. <laughs> and down I go too. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just have to help it out with everything, don't I? Oh, oh! And who could that be but our good pal Mickey? I mean, it's. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious from the fucking ears. Like, I mean, I'm. So, I'm sorry, but it's just so goofy. It's like seeing Mickey's like hoodie. <laughs> with just a little ears popping out of it, like, like, Mickey's trying to be incognito, like, how are you gonna be incognito with those popping out of the hoodie? <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it. Hey, I'll, I'll be right back. I just gotta reconnect for role play. And I'm back. Okay, there we go. Okay, hopefully this fixes it. Trust me, Mickey Mouse in a strange cloak. I'm out, litter. <laughs> Mickey just bailed. Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. Now we know he's out too. The king was locked in the realm of darkness, right? Uh huh. But. We just saw him. Yeah. And if the king is here, that means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kyrie's there waiting for us. What are you? <laughs> She's just sitting there, like on, on <laughs> by the beach, just tapping her for like. Man, yeah, it's been how long? One year. <laughs> it's like one year since I've been back. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Goofy's fucking stink guy. He's like, bitch, you really have to ask that shit? What do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. One more journey, cuts the Kingdom Hearts 3. Are you sure about that, Sora? <laughs> I love how Sora said that, too. He's just like, let's stick around for one more journey. You guys got like 10 more after this. Oh right, yeah, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot the choo-choo. <laughs> money pouch. A pouch from the king. There's 5,000 money inside for some reason. <laughs> crystal orb. A pretty crystal. Sparkles brightly when held up to the sun. Ooh, and a secret answer report. I probably sh I probably sh maybe should have read these in the last, when my Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, but I just said like, eh. I'll probably read them this time around, but yeah, I'll read it in a bit. Right now, we, we got plot shit to do. We actually can I, wait, can I actually read these now? I think I might actually be able to. Uh, secret report written by as yes, reviewed by Jiminy's journal. Wait up. 
Huh? Hey, Sora? What? Nothing, but... We came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh. Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. They're the same. Yeah. Three tickets, please. I gotta say that I do love how more expressive the characters are in this game compared to Kingdom Hearts 1. Because, like, back in Kingdom Hearts 1, I noticed, uh, like, how paper mouthy a lot of them were. I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. You're thinking too much. You're thinking you're yeah. this it's not like this town's gonna explode. You're right. Yeah, what am I thinking? I'm being silly. <laughs> okay, so before we board the train, there's some chests here I want to get first. Because thankfully this town basically gives you a uh, better do the shit now before before it's too late kind of thing. I mean, we're going to come back to this town eventually, but might as well like go back and get everything we need first. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can read that answer report. Okay, it looks like we can. Sweet. Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. <clears throat> let's get our reading glasses on. I made a great I have made a great mistake. My study of the darkness of the heart began with a simple psychological test and quickly snowballed. Spurred upon my youngest apprentice, Ienzo, I constructed a massive laboratory in the basement of my castle. Unbeknownst to me, my six apprentices then began collecting a large number of subjects under which to perform dangerous experiments into the darkness of the heart. As soon as I found out, I called my apprentices together and ordered them to not only cease their studies, but to destroy the results of their research thus far. What on earth was happening within the, within the hearts of my six beloved apprentices? While pursuing the mystery of the darkness of the heart, could they themselves have strayed into its depths? Yet, I remain the most foolish of all, for having begun these experiments. We are not meant to interfere in the depths of another's heart, no matter what our reasons for doing so. And my error plunged me into despair. A visitor from another world soothed my dejected soul. A tiny king named Mickey came wielding a legendary key, the infamous Keyblade, said to br bring both chaos and prosperity to the world. He was very knowledgeable on many topics, and we deepened our friendship as we conversed companionably. Upon his advice, upon his advice I decided to review the data obtained in my, research, in my basement lab. That is when I discovered the quote-unquote answer reports. Though they bore my name, the only one I had written was number zero. Apparently, he had gone to pen numbers 1 through 8 himself. Yes, the first subject in my foolish experiments. So, basically what he's written here with the answer report, basically saying like, so well, apparently like, the answer reports we read that we obtained in Kingdom Hearts 1 was from the fake ants on the one we defeated in Kingdom Hearts 1. Those were not the real answer reports. Here, these are the real, these are the real answers reports. Okay, so, oh, right, right, I gotta go get the chests. Um, I believe there's some, I mean, we're not getting, we're not getting all of them in this town. There's only, we can only get the certain ones we can get obtained right now. Like this one, these ones over here. Because, because there are some in this area here. Unfortunately, we can't enter it because I can't enter yet. Are they working on it? So yeah, we can only obtain certain, certain areas because, like I said, some areas are blocked off until much later. Oh, armor. Oh, sweet. We actually buy some uh, armor here. Um, wait. Hey, actually, I think... Actually, I think I can get Donald Goofy some new equipment. Uh, is there a weapon shop or something here? I could swear... I swear there is. No, this is this, I think this might be the accessory shop. Uh... I thought there was. Maybe I'm thinking Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, I'm probably thinking Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, 
actually no, Kingdom Hearts 3 didn't have that either. Kingdom Hearts 3 had the had the little um the gummy shot ran by Huey Dewey and Louie. Okay, uh, I believe this was an item shop. I believe this is an item, like something. Like that's armor. This looks like it's accessories. Yeah, accessories. And of course, we can only get ability ring. I thought I thought we can get some like new weapons here. I guess not now. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get over here. Oh, yes, yeah, the back alley of, of a Twilight Town. Eventually, in Kingdom Hearts 3, it's going to turn into a fucking movie theater. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how this town evolved uh, uh, over the course of these games. It's like... Here, Twi uh, Twilight Town seems like a nice little, like, town to live in, you know, it's free from, like, stress, you know, I mean, this seems like a really peaceful town to live in, and when Kingdom Hearts 3 happened, uh, I mean, not saying Kingdom Hearts 3 ruined Twilight Town, honestly, I'll be honest, I'll probably, I'll probably, I like Twilight, I, I think I like, I like Twilight Town Kingdom Hearts 3, like, yeah, it was small, but, I mean, I mean, it was still pretty cool, though, getting, actually, get more in-depth look at the town, like, another, a bigger expansion of the town itself, like here in this part of the area, the, here we go to the sandlot. In Game Wars Three, we go to the we go through the sewers to get to the woods. In this game, we gotta go through that hole in the wall over there. Are there, are there are, I think there might be some chests in the woods. Uh, I'm not gonna actually. I don't think I'm gonna try to get all the chests. I'm gonna get as much as I can. But I, oh no, no, oh, there's a chest. I was like, I, I knew there was something here. There's someone over there as well. Okay, let's see. What do we got in chest number one? High potion. Cool. Okay, then what do we got in this chest over here? Okay, uh, ooh, Vivi, what do you gotta say? Cyrus, you're strong, you know. Did I sound like, did I, did I sound tough, did I? Did I tough like Ryan, you know? <laughs> He was trying to impersonate Rai with the, you know. <laughs> ah, Kingdom Hearts, I love your charm. And music as well. Man, the music in Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, honestly, are, have like the best music in the entire Kingdom Hearts series. By far. Like, that's something I will give Kingdom Hearts 2 credit for. And I will agree with people with it. Having a great fucking soundtrack. Especially in the final mix version, oh man, they really make the freaking music in this in this game pop. Like if you listen to the original Kingdom Hearts uh, 2 music and compare it to the final mix music, it's night and day. <laughs> like Kingdom Hearts 2 original had some great tracks, but they did kind of butcher a few of them. <laughs> One of them is pretty fucking infamous. <laughs> One of them is a pretty infamous uh, MIDI scoring. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean when I say the word MIDI. <laughs> but um but yeah besides that I think that's all the chests we can get for right now uh, so let's head back to the the freaking uh, fuck uh, Tram Common oh this is Tram oh the Sage Heights I think it's Tram Common no Tram Common is uh, the main part of the town Station Plaza alright let's there, actually no no there's some chests inside we can get like I said, I'm trying to get as much as I can before we uh, head off to the uh, head into the train. I might as well do what I can now before we leave. Okay, and a tent. Tents are basically like cottages in this game. Uh, we had tents in Kingdom Hearts One, but all they did was restore they they restored all of your health and three of your MP. Here, like I said, they basically act as your uh, cottages. Which uh, help out a lot. It, I mean, I use them. I remember using them quite a bit, though, when I used to play Kingdom Hearts uh, 2 a lot. Um, nowadays, I don't really use them all that much. But I mean, they're 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 handy little tools if you if you ever need to restore your MP or HP. Um, Sora, about that bag of yours. Uh, never mind. Come visit it again, all right? We'll be at the usual spot. That's weird. I feel I feel like I should see you off for some reason. I got to say bye to someone I'm waiting a long time to see.
Sorry, I was so cold before. Something's been bugging me. We may not see each other for a while. Take care of yourself, okay? It's alright, it's alright, Hainer. Alright, Goofy, what do you guys say? Well, it's time for our adventure to begin. Well, if there's something you want to do here, now's your last chance. Basically, Goofy's saying, like, oh, if you want so if you want to get these chests, now's your only top opportunity to do so before we gotta before we gotta leave and not come back here later. That's gonna be a long journey, so prepare yourself well. Okay. Let's get on the train. On the train. Okay, let's go. Bye. <laughs> Bye, losers! You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. Now, <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to start crying. <laughs> Stop it! What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> Pets, what are you doing? What the hell's like, Pets? What are you doing, dude? He was just like following the train. <laughs> Imagine she just runs off onto the track itself and just starts chasing after Sora. I love how Donald's just hanging out on the window. I'm short, so I can't see out the window very well. <laughs> I wonder if I could sell this. <laughs> you know? I'm sad. Aw. We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. This is all like this town's all shit. Oh, I probably should have bit my own tongue. <laughs> Now we're in the eternal void. With the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> the void? Oh, I didn't know the void had the, the or Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. Hey Axel. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have We're home, fakes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Yeah, you mean, I'm assuming that she's either me she's means uh Sora and Roxas. Here. Stone. You think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but Tis. Wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. Next stop, mysterious piece of land in the middle of space. <laughs> oh, 
Well, gee, I wonder who that was. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could probably work on, walk on the tracks. It probably... Oh, oh, oh no, I <laughs> The tracks just cut off. Well, shit. <laughs> well, I guess we really are stuck. <laughs> I mean, unless we could fly on the end of this void. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, like, what even is all this? It's like, are we above the clouds? Like, I see trees and shit, so we must be, like, above some, like, clouds or... Is that water or something? I, I have no idea what the fuck this is. <laughs> Even to this day, I still know, don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> well, we got in the train in Kenya, like the king said. Something strange about this place. I wonder where we are. Well, I'm sure you recognize it soon, Donald. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to make sure I don't actually trigger that cutscene. I Head. It's like trying to make sure I don't. Cause I'm trying. I want to talk to Goofy. I don't want him to end up during the cutscene. Oh, well, someone's at the entrance of the building. Oh, I'm answering rule number seventeen. I'll collect information. Okay. Okay. It was. Some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower is as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is, once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh -huh. well. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? Hi, Pete. <laughs> you, doing here? you know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Well, <laughs> about, are you sure about that, Pete? Because <laughs> Maleficent's looking kind of dead. <laughs> She's dead. Riku Slater. <laughs> I mean, we, well, uh, Riku more like, is like, Triggered the darkness inside Maleficent, and but even then, like Sora did kind of Sora, Sora did kill her in the end, but but even then, Riku did kind of finish off like stepping on her like remnants of darkness. <laughs> Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that she's toast. Huh? She did. Oh, she. Oh, sorry, Pete. Oh. Uh, Oh, if it's a gain help you now, she's fucking dead. Oh, yep. Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it. Well, we might have had something to do with it. <laughs> I just I just saw that smirk on Sorcery like, say, well, we may have we may have uh may or may not have killed her. Heartless squad! Oh yes, Pete, summon a bunch of shadows. How frightening. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna claw off my one one e one HP. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't kill him. <laughs> Don't if you mind, can you uh, cast thunder? I mean even that Donald is really neat. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Donald. 
Yeah, thank you, dog. <laughs> oh, so spooky. Pete summoning, like, three shadows. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. I'm so powerful, so no one can comprehend how mighty I really am. Anyway. Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Pete, you summoned, like, Five shadows to come at the freaking storm at Dong Sword Dong Goofy. You think that those shadows are gonna be anything to fucking Yen Sid? Master Yen Sid lives here. Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Look at Pete in the background. <laughs> oh, this face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God damn it! No more to listen to the thing Pete says. Oh no! It is always gonna be a pain in my ass. <sighs> you no, know, maybe I should retire from the heartless job. <laughs> maybe I should hire, retire from the heartless position. Go, go back to bowling. <laughs> Pete all went right to the party. We had to feed Maleficent. Oh, I never expected to run into Pete here. I don't think he's not just messing around with our world, but here too. I mean, I mean, like I said, it's Pete. Pete summoned like five shadows. That's nothing. Like, look, Donald's fucking thunder magic literally killed that one just just a second ago. Like, like nothing. Like, Donald has some really like they really beefed up Donald's attacks though. I in this game I've noticed like. When I first played this game, when after I played King Arms One, uh, I, I was when I kept saying, "Oh, Donald, you had like the weakest like attacks and shit." And then when I like started playing King Arms Two, I was like, oh, "Never mind, never mind. Uh, Donald's definitely stepping his A game in this." Because <laughs> like I said, this fucking Thunder Magic is beastly. Even like we just like look at that. Like he just took out three shadows with one lightning bolt. <laughs> That was a nice pose. Goofy, what's going on with your shield, my dude? <laughs> Alright, well, only one way to go, but up. God, I fucking love the music. I'm so. I also, guys. I, I I know I didn't really do this on Halloween, but uh, how was how's that? How was everyone's Halloween? Like, I know you guys probably you guys probably couldn't do much with this sh with the shit going on right now, but but what do you guys what were you guys what do you guys do for Halloween? I didn't really do much. Oh my. Oh my god, that frame! <laughs> but but no, I didn't really do much anything for this for my Halloween. I just stayed home, uh, played some shit, and, well, played random uh, horror games and stuff. Maybe I could have recorded some something then, but eh, I didn't really want to at, the, at that time anyway. <laughs> it, spoopy season's too much for me. <laughs> but um, so yeah, and also another thing, guys, Melody Murray comes out next week. I'm excited for that. So next week, uh, I I'm gonna do as much Kingdom Hearts two as I can before Melody and Memory comes out, and then I'm gonna stop Kingdom Hearts two for the time being and do that game. You look look forward to that, guys. I'm really excited to, do, to get started on that game. I love the demo. I know I'm gonna love this game. <laughs> Been asleep. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Can I talk? Man, we might have been asleep for a year, but nothing's changed. <laughs> the worlds aren't at peace after all. Damn it. And what was the point of me sealing everything? 
I mean, I mean, like, what, I mean, when Sora did see all the worlds, I mean, it did help, but it doesn't mean that Heartless are not going to continue to spawn. I mean, hell, even after leaving a world after it, uh, the keel got sealed, doesn't mean that Heartless are done for good. I mean, if you come back, they're going to pop up again. I mean, it's basically what it kind of does is it just stops them from flooding in. They'll still find ways in, but they're just not going to be, like, flooding in all at once with the, uh, with the keyholes. You just got to find like different routes to get and be able to get into the worlds. So basically, like no no worlds safe. Oh look, guys, it's Disney spell backwards. <laughs> just gotta get that old freaking run out, run down joke out of the way with the whole like. Hey guys, it's Disney Spell Backwards. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, it's like, so what? His name is Disney Spell Backwards. What's so funny about it? <laughs> like, what? What's what's the, what's the joke? It's just his name being spelled Disney backwards. <laughs> hey there. Calm down, duck. <laughs> so, you are Sora. No. I expected you to be taller. You seen the king yet? Yes, we did, master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. We even asked before we could say a word. Quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a. You know, I, f I found this funny about Goofy's design in this. Goofy has like fucking like I know I I like I I'm not saying I have just noticed this, but I've seen this for a while. I just I feel like I have to comment on it now. I love how Go on Goofy's design here, he has little goggles on the top of his hat. Like, what does he have those for? I mean, he's like he doesn't he never uses them. It'd be kind of funny in a Kingdom Hearts game uh, in the, one of the few next Kingdom Hearts games. He just he comes out looking like that. He's <laughs> with the goggles on his eyes. I mean, would the uh, goggles even fit Goofy's eyes? I mean, you see how big his eyes are? <laughs> I don't even think those things would fit around his head. <laughs> Perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... The key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. Valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Okay. Hey, right. uh, well, I like. I mean, you don't have to read this book, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to you know show you guys what like what the contents are. I mean, I'm no pretty sure a lot of you guys already know what's in the side of these in this book because again, a lot of people have already played Kingdom Hearts 2, but for those who haven't, I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> it's always best to explore this shit around. Uh, this book describes powerful spells. Okay, let's see. All the mischief the king did years ago is recorded here. Oh my god. Mickey, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> oh yes, Mickey has caused so much trouble. I have it all recorded on this one bookshelf. <laughs> oh, I was a troublemaker back in my days. 
Well, this is a strange tower. I wonder why it was built. Adventure rule number eight. Search every corner of a new place. What's, yeah, it's something weird with Goofy, like, like, early, early on, anyway. Goofy has this weird thing when he goes, adventure rule number random number I think of. This, <laughs> and insert random weird adventure rule. It's like, I don't know, I guess maybe Goofy's trying to be like a little, little mini tutorial, like saying, like, I'll oh, make sure you check every nook and cranny of, a, of each world, because there might be some kind of secret. Now to read that part where Master Yance said. We've been asleep for a while, so we need, to be know we need to know what's been going on. For a fucking year. <laughs> ah, I need new pants. <laughs> a map of the area. Hmm, nice. Okay, uh... Again, so what you gotta say? The book contains important knowledge. Be sure to read it. Yeah, that's... Uh, okay, yeah, that's basically saying, like, Oh, are you done reading it? Hey, ahem. <clears throat> Let's, let me get my reading glasses. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, of course. So I don't have reading glasses, but I'm just, it's a joke. It's a joke. The beginning. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. Those are chosen. There are those chosen by the light and ensnared by darkness. Friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, and when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was. For all the answers are within. Basically, this game is kind of summarizing both Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, and then here with Kingdom Hearts 2. So, yeah, the beginning was Kingdom Hearts 1, the interlude is Chain of Memories, this is Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps, for there all confusion will end. Basically telling, like, so, like I said, summarizing Chain of Memories with Sora going to the castle. The Future Story. Will the day come when this battle born in the confusion will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that it which is hidden? That reason is mere existence, still memories can be believed. Be not afraid, and trust your body to the soothing ways of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over, and everything will begin. Alright, and with that, that is all the stuff that will be we can read. Anyway, now we talk to Yensid. Do you have any questions? Actually... But, wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are pure, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. But unfortunately, Goofy, that'd be near impossible. Now, it is time to I mean, I, in a way, I do have what I when I said that I do have. A, I mean, yeah, it does make sense too. It's just like Goofy goes, like Goofy saying, like everyone's heart would be full of light, the heart would go away. Yes, but unfortunately, it's not. It wouldn't be that easy because everyone's heart, no matter they be good or evil, have has a bit of darkness inside of them. I mean, it's like an, it's a normal thing for like real life people as well. Well, people may have, like, light inside of them. They also got that little bit of darkness. It's up to them, like, how they use said darkness. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, 
The empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem... There, now we got the name drop for these creatures. These are the nobodies. Um, basically, uh, okay, so basically think about it like this. So if a car so if you get killed by a heartless, your heart pops out of you and it becomes a new heartless. But it, when your body fades away, it kind of like, kind of like a, kind of like when like like an insect is shedding its skin. It's basically based in a way. It's kind of leaving that body. When the heart leaves the body, they get the new the new creature that becomes the heartless. Like insect, like shedding its like a snake's shedding its skin, like that. Like the snake, the, the the snake coming out of the lost skin, basically that's the heartless. But the empty shell that leaves behind, like the skin, that becomes a that becomes a nobody. Yeah, it's not like anybody becomes a nobody. It's basically anyone with a strong heart. Anyone with like a strong heart, they become nobodies. Well, I think it's actually no. I think it might be anyone because there wouldn't be that many nobodies in that case if there was. Just, but no, anyway. But I was trying to say anyway. Uh, but yeah, like say, like I said, if a snake shedding its skin, and the snake coming out of it is the heartless, then the skin at least behind it becomes a nobody. You have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. Look at Dalt's eyes just dilating. Bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It com But yeah, with these organization members, they're nobodies themselves, but they don't turn into these creatures. And no, but no, they still retain their human their human appearance. And like, yeah. I think it only depends like how strong your heart is. Like if you have a really strong heart. You don't become one of these creatures. In fact, you, be, you still retain your human-like appearance, but you become a nobody. You become like you become like these uh, organization members. Like you have you like you have abilities and shit, but you have you still retain your human-like appearance. Bounds, the lesser nobodies. Organization thirteen. While heartless act on instinct, nobody is function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What what do you mean? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. 
So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those are just way too tight on you, Sora. Way too revealing. Those look a bit too small for you. <laughs> Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora, you sure are growing fast. You're, you're taller than me. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it really am taller than Goofy now, I couldn't think of it. Well, I mean, it's because Goofy has the hat on. I mean, without the hat, I mean, yeah, I'm taller than Goofy. <laughs> Even then, I'm still taller than Donald. <laughs> but, no, I still love, though, when, uh, friggin' in Kingdom Hearts 1, if you zoomed in, if you did, went to first person mode and went to Goofy, like, you really looked like you were inside of his mouth. Now, hi, you can't do that to me anymore, Goofy. I don't be, I don't be smelling your breath anymore. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go ahead and replenish Don Goofy's, uh, health and MP. Okay. And there are the three fairies from, uh, Sleepy Beauty. Yeah, Sleepy Beauty. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean... Six of us. There's nothing to worry about, right? Okay. This clothes will help you only as much as your. This these clothes will help only as you. These clothes will only help you only as you much as your growth allows. They're true potential line of storms. It's your job to unleash it. We have been told about you. Hurry up and try your new clothes. That is, as you prepare for your journey, of course. Once you change your outfit, you're off. Please, I want to change my clothes. It's cr these things well, are way too tight. Dear dears, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you'll come to the right place. I don't do the designing. Hey, I'll push. <laughs> I like the blue. Oh. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Come on. Are you certain? <sighs> Please stop. <laughs> I don't want to look like a leprechaun. All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. And now Sor has brand new duds. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now don't don't ordinary vomits. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, it's still gonna be pretty easy. <laughs> Your garments also have other powers, but you will have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best, and thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Okay, and now we also got the Star Seeker Keyblade. Which is something we're not going to be able to equip for quite a while, unfortunately. But I, I, if you guys do remember oh, from Kingdom Hearts 3 with the revamped version of this, this is where the original Blake came from. 
And we also got Valor Form. Alright, so this is something new for Kingdom Hearts 2. The Drive Gauge command has been added. The gauge on the lower right is consumed for transformation. It is powerful as it absorbs party member strength, but party members disappear while transformed. Basically, if we go to Valor Form, this happens. Yeah, so now we gotta switch out, but unfortunately, not at the cost of Goofy. We get more. We get more forms as we go along. Um, we and if we look at our. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll talk about this now. Uh, abil form abilities. Form abilities are fixed by leveling up a form. These abilities can be used even out of that particular form. Sub weapons. When a form of second weapon can be equipped, one keyblade with strength and abilities, two keyblades with strength and abilities. Our abilities are strength on both weapons. Equipping sub weapons. From items, select Sora. Select a form and select a weapon to use as a sub weapon. Sub weapon abilities. The ability that sub weapon is only valid in that particular form. Alright, so basically, if we go to Sora, here we have a keyblade for his Valor form. Here, if we still only have uh, the Kingdom Key, which unfortunately we can't take out for now. Uh, but. And if we look into our status, we also have Valor Form's uh, stats, which will level up the more we level it up. Uh, I think the max level it goes to is 7, I believe. But uh, when you get a form, it has a level cap. Here, this level cap is at 3 when you start out with. The level caps off at 3. So once you get hit the 3 range, when you hit level 3 in the forms, you have to stop until you get a new form. Which I honestly think it's it's nice because that way you're not like like constantly cheesing it with a new ability you just got. Basically telling you to stop, wait till you get another form. So basically, how this form levels up is for each attack dealt to the enemy in Valor form, one point of experience is gained. So each time we hit a Heartless or a Nobody, uh, we get one experience point in our Valor form. I'm going to be doing this off screen in a certain area later, but well, I mean maybe I might do it after. Well. After the next episode, possibly. I mean, I'm not. This episode's probably not gonna last much longer. I don't know how long I'm recording. I'll check that after when I get done with this part of the game. Get done with the uh, yet its tower. Okay. Ooh, we got a new. Uh, ooh, we got item boost. Uh, gladly equip that. Basically, item boost. Uh, what it does, it uh, increases the effect of uh, your items by 50%. So basically, if I use a potion, it might as well be the same as a regular high potion. Which is nice, especially in critical mode. But yeah, let's leave. Well, hey, huh? Sora? Oh, I think you dropped something. Huh? It must have fallen out of your pocket. What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Uh, we don't know anything about that. But if you find it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, as you come across, hold on to any other pieces you come across in your journey. I'll make sure to note them all in my journal. All right. So basically, okay. So puzzle pieces. Uh, this is the, this is something Final Mix exclusive. Basically, what these are, you, uh, there's there. Okay, you obtain a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some can be accessed after learning a certain ability. Some can only be accessed after learning a new a certain ability. You've used six coll collected pieces in Jiminy Sherl. What it means by certain abilities is basically the abilities you, you get in your drive forms. Which, what this ability, with the ability for Valor form is high jump. So if I get like a better high jump, the more I, the better I can reach up to certain pieces. Because there are some pieces that you can't get with a normal jump, so you have to use high jump in order to get it. Or some of the other abilities in the other forms. Uh, okay, some form some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. You can view collected pieces in Jiminy's journal. Okay, so basically, what we got for our collected piece. Okay, let's go to puzzle pieces, puzzle mode, awakening. Collect all the pieces and solve the puzzle. Collecting pieces. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, again. Okay, so basically here we, basically for each of these puzzles, it's basically this little concept art kind of of uh, of the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, I think a basic concept art of Kingdom Hearts 2. But we got the Awakening piece, and these are the. This is what I'm gonna be talking about when I say I'm gonna get uh, uh, some of the stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get all the puzzle pieces. 
probably not on probably not on screen, but I'll probably get a lot of them off screen that I'll that I'll uh, start the episode by do, uh, doing all the puzzles. That way, you guys can actually see what I'm what I'm doing with these puzzles. But uh, anyway, time more plot. And guess what's back? Yep, the gummy ship. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. Also, another thing, though, I almost forgot to say. Uh, if you turn into your valor form, I mean, not valor form, turn into your forms, If you then when you trigger a cutscene, you'll still be in that form for the cutscene. I think that's a little cool touch to, to show Soren or Soren as valor form. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the Gummy Ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But, be warned, as you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths, corridors of darkness, to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. Life's not fair, Donald. Get over it. Now then. That is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lightsaber! We sure do appreciate the help. My goodness, what's that? It's a bird. <laughs> Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Malefa. No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh no, the memories are coming back. What do we do? Oh, what do we do? <gasps> Goodness me. Oh, no. oh, well, this is so Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. And guess who's back? Fucking Maleficent. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Howdy, Sora. How you doing? Oh, hi. It's your favorite dummy engineers here, ready for duty. Chip. And Dale. Happy morning. Only one? That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. 
Alright. Use the left stick to fly the gummy ship. Try approaching the world at the bottom of the screen. When you arrive at your destination, press triangle to land. Alright, well, uh, there is so there's that for the Twilight Town part of the game. Huh? You go back to Twilight Town? <laughs> Come on, we gotta get moving ahead. We got no time to stop at Twilight Town! <laughs> but okay, let's see. So how long have I been recording for? Let's see. Let's see the time. Oh wow, one hour five minutes. <laughs> I guess it's a good time. I guess it is. It's a good stopping point. Well, and with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. In the next episode, everyone, we're going to be heading to Hollow Bastion. <laughs> and this time around, Hollow Bastion is going to be looking a lot different. And you'll see in the next episode. So, like and subscribe, one more. I'll see you guys next time.